Hello, I'm Colin and here are today's headlines from Pink60. A petition on change.org aims to shut down 180 clinics that engage in torture to cure homosexuality in Ecuador. The Foundation Cozana, who set up the petition, need government aid, so please sign to stop the abuse. The killer of Ugandan gay rights activist David Cato was sentenced to 30 years in jail this week. Sidney Nzubugo pleaded guilty to the crime, which was motivated by a sex for cash agreement where Mr Cato refused to pay after the fact. At the same time, another Ugandan, Frank Mugisha, has received the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Award for his work with charity Sexual Minorities Uganda. The award was given for his dedication in the face of threats to his life and enforced exile. Canadian soccer star David Tester is the latest sports star to come out. The president of his team, Montreal Impact, said he's always been a professional and dedicated player to his club on and off the field. His decision to go public must have been a difficult one and we respect it. And finally, a row over use of the word fag during a press conference by Tower Heist director Brett Ratner has spread the next year's Oscar ceremonies. Ratner and Eddie Murphy were signed to revamp the event, but both resigned after the pressure put on Ratner over the incident. That's all from us today. Join us again tomorrow.